Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. Another episode of Beards, Bourbon, Whiskey, man. Everybody loves BBW. The whole gang is in the building, though. I got my man Angry Principal off camera. What's up? My man Bo in the building. I right, say. I got my man Don Juan off the uh, off the camera. I guess he's here. <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from 48205. Uh, we back. We in the 48205, but we going way overseas for this one. Uh, this is DYC, all right, in case you was wondering. <laughs> that is how it's pronounced. And today, that's how we pronounce it, all right? But DYC is a uh, a blended scotch uh, type whiskey, right, from Madrid, all right? So it is Spanish. Uh, DYC, it stands for something in Spanish that I can't pronounce, so we won't be pronouncing that today. <laughs> but uh, what I've also found out is that it has uh, been purchased by Jim Beam, so... Uh, that's going to be a thing. Now it is only 80 proof, so it's one of the one of the lighter whiskeys that we've used uh, at this point. Uh, what's kind of cool about it though is shout out to uh, May May who actually went to Madrid and brought this back from Madrid. So like it's actually uh, imported like for real, for real. Like we didn't buy it from Total Wine. So that's gonna be kind of dope. Um, I did. Uh, we translated some of the description on the back. It says something about like some fruity notes. I am kind of curious what it's gonna smell like. Normally at this point we uh we pop the cork, but there is no cork, so we're just going to twist it off. I want to see uh see what that that twist off sounds like. All right, so distillery of Crianza. Crianza, that's how you say it. Yeah. All right, oh, pause, so. pause for the scroll. Pause for the crack. <laughs> oh, that was a good crack. <laughs> good crack. <laughs> you know this whole damn episode is fucking up. No. Damn, there's something in there. Oh, like like how that scotch was. Uh -huh. Right, probably Buchanan's. Got yeah, that Buchanan's. Hell yeah, yeah. All right, let's figure it out. We got the uh, we got the edit this, this part. Here. Damn, that's exactly how that shit was. How did uh, we do oh, it? I don't remember. Though. I don't remember how we did that shit. Damn, I don't remember. Let me see. I don't remember how he did that shit. It was just like that too, though. Cause we didn't take it out, but like it, some it did something on the inside so and started pouring. Yeah, I think it was like somehow some pop. The way you, oh yeah, yeah you, just yeah, gotta, yeah. you just gotta turn it up. Yeah. You gotta turn it up a little bit. Then. That's what it was. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I, I remember it popping though. Oh, not I thought Buchanan's. it did something because it had a little ball. It, in it did. Shit. Something popped up though when I became. Something popped up. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you got to let the air go out. Okay. Physics and shit. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that what that is? Physics? Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna keep that Fuck in there. Science. <laughs> shit. Science. All right, there you go. Man, a little more than that. All right, let's see what's to this. So we uh, today's show is brought to you by First of the Day, and that's these are the sifters that we're drinking out of today. First of the day. Let's see. First of the day. Oh, definitely hella fruit though. Yeah, it smells smell like fruit, fruit cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> It do though. Like the old school Del Monte. <laughs> you trying to eat a cherry and yeah. shit? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hated the cherry though. What? I hated, it was like mushy and shit. Yeah, I didn't see, fucking cherry. I hate like the peaches and shit. The yeah. peaches was good. Yeah. Then they had apricots in it and shit. Some shit. Uh, apricot. <laughs> right. Hmm. I don't know what's in here. It's just a bunch of sweet citrusy fruit. I gotta taste the shit now. I ain't gonna hold you up. But I, I, I got citrus fruit though. Made me think like wine almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that type of sweet, you know what I mean? Like almost a wine almost sweet. Almost like a mead. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Some of those flavored meads, that's a, that, just off the nose. Mm -hmm. This is hella odd though. As fruity as it smells, it don't taste like fruit. Like, at yeah, all. Yeah, got like a maltiness to it too. Yeah. Like almost like, like a, a scotch. scotch. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, I think that description was true. It is kind of like scotch. Not as harsh on the, on the back end, so not as much bite. Mm -hmm. The fruit smell though is deceptive because like it don't taste like fruit at all. For eighty proof, it's got kind of a kick. That's eighty point. proof. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's got a little burn to it. It got a little burn to yeah. it, yeah. Especially for it to be eighty. Yeah, a little peppery. It's strange though. Like, why do it smell like fruit and it don't taste like fruit? 
I mean, a little sweetness, like, a little sweetness on the end. Maybe almost like, like they put it in a wine cask or something. Yeah, could be. I keep getting that get wine, that, like yeah, yeah that, mm-hmm. which might be why it's so like it's it's light, it's light skin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's very yeah, light, yeah, light skin now. Yeah, very much know. so. And it kind of looked like a wine bottle. Like like you? like mama was white and, and daddy was like mixed too. And Duh, she, you know this, what I mean? Yeah, this yeah, is where, like this is where we like that light skin. Yeah. You know what I mean? How do we get to that, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. This goddamn DYC, nigga. Happy- <laughs> it doesn't... Pause. Pause. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like... <laughs> It doesn't taste like anything. I better don't. <laughs> <I'm there. laughs> no, we ain't even gonna make it through this. <laughs> All right, so let me let me say this. <laughs> okay, so the fruit, the fruit, the fruit smell though. Again, is just. I honestly thought it was gonna taste a little sweeter. This is a little closer to scotch than I need it to be. Of course, we know that I don't really, I don't really do scotch. It's a weird, it's a weird taste for how it smells. I guess maybe I think the smell just had me anticipating something else. I tell, well, I tell you one thing, man. It's, it's complex as hell, right? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I, like I said, I picked up some sweetness, like you know, like like a wine type sweetness, right? right? And then you know, I got some some maltiness to it, and then uh, like you said, for for an eighty proof, you know, it it. it they give you a little hug, you know, for an 80 proof, which I really wasn't expecting. So that, that surprised me right there. Yeah, yeah. if you're trying to yeah. flavor something up, yeah. a whiskey taste, this is mm-hmm. a good thing to do. Yeah. Is that, like like I said, it's kind of, it's, it's close to scotch. And at 80 proof, though, definitely, I think it's, that's deceptive as well. Because mm-hmm. when you think of 80, you don't think of nothing that's going to really give you a sting that's, at the end. Does it taste like anything y- y'all ever had before? Like any particular whiskey bourbon you've ever had? Nothing. To me. And, it, and, I'm trying to think, and like, what's weird about it on the... Like on the back end of it, I don't know how to describe this, but it's kind of like it's flat. It's like it's flat, like the it, it, okay. So that's where I got that melon taste uh-huh. at the, the end. Watermelon kind of little kind of taste at the at, at the, the end. end. At the Maybe that's the end. flatness uh-huh. I'm saying because it's like you're talking about yeah, because it's just like it's, it just it go flat at the end like a flat line. I don't Which know. I've never tasted melon in a in a, yeah. in a whiskey before. It, so some they had to have put this in some kind of barrel. Okay, oh, yeah, so yeah. now that you say that, I could I, I'm yeah. Something else has been added to this process of not just having it in one. Well, one it is barrel. doble distill. You know, double distill. You know what it reminds me of? <laughs> What's up? Remember when we did uh, that 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 fifteen? I think it was fifteen year old, twelve or fifteen. That uh, the Balvini. Yeah. Remember because it, it was uh, well, finishing Balvini, like a. The Balvini had a little more sweetness to it though. It, yeah, that's what I'm getting at though, uh-huh. right? So it was finished at like a like in in wine cast or some shit like that, right? right? Sherry like, cast. I'm picking yeah. up. Yeah, I'm picking up that type of sherry cast. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. Okay. I said, yeah, but uh, well, that, that's what I'm picking up. It, it, it's that type of flavor. Okay, yeah, I can, I can see that. Mm-hmm. I can see. I, I fucking, I love the Belvini. Though, I ain't gonna lie. And oh, that's Scotch, though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I actually, blend yeah, Scotch. I like that. Yeah, yeah blend Scotch. I like that though. Cigar do anything for it? Yes. Yeah. I imagine it, it does. It'll probably pull out, some of those flavors it's out. It's definitely yeah. helping out the cigar. Yeah. More than the whiskey part. I should already have one lit. Look at right, that. I ain't gonna get the mind. Over yeah. right. here laughing at D1. <laughs> D1. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it tastes it like that. I ever had cigar. before. <laughs> <laughs> it brought a little bit more out of cigar than than the the whiskey, but it, it, okay. they definitely pair well. Okay, definitely pair well. And what you smoking today? I'm smoking on a King of Spades. Mm. It's one of the cigars we got down at the uh, Smoke on the River. Okay. Like that. Yeah. I, I got a Monte Cristo over here, the Cuban. Yeah, I got a. I fuck with Macanudo. though. Mm-hmm. I'm telling y'all, y'all better go get y'all some chilling moose though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, bring, I'm gonna bring one of those next time. Chilling moose, good ass stick right there. Yeah. This is actually one of ones from the uh, Smoke on the River too. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. If you're in Detroit I'm next, sure. what is it? Late August. Late August. Yep. Do the Smoke on the River yeah. event. That was a lot of fun. It was. It was. We enjoyed so shout ourselves. Out, again, shout out to First of the Day, who was a uh, sponsor down there. Uh, where was you? Alabama. Yep, Alabama. Yeah, it was Alabama. Yeah, it was That's Alabama. exactly where I was at. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you got the uh, the pre-analysis of the DYC. <laughs> we going to commercial break, dog. <laughs> we'll be back, man. You already know what it is.
Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. You already know what it is, man. Beers, bourbon, whiskey. Everybody loves BBW. Whole gang is back in the building, man. I got Angry Principal in the building. Got my man Bo holding it down and everybody else. <laughs> of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. All right, so we back in the building, man. Everybody kind of gave their uh, preliminary analysis on uh, what they think about the DYC. So uh, let's... Uh... <laughs> no, just let me, just let me make it. <laughs> Real third grade. <laughs> over here. I can't help it either. Man. You know what I'm Every time you say it, I start laughing. So, Bo, we're going to start with you, though. Of course, we got to do the uh, Black Power Fist yeah. ratings from one to five. Uh, Bo, what you thinking about that? So, let me just get my rating off top, man. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to give it two. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it, it's different. Like, it, it, it's complex. You know, mm-hmm. it's got a unique flavor profile. I will say, after, you know, um, a lit the cigar and whatnot, that cigar, you know, helps bring out some of those, some of those flavors, you know, like I, I got, you mentioned, I think a watermelon earlier, you know, I definitely, you know, taste a little, a little bit more of that melon flavor, you know, um, it's, 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 it's different, you know, it's got kind of a wine sweetness to it, you know, like, like a deep red wine sweetness to me, maybe even like, a, uh, you know, we were talking about the Balvenie earlier, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, it's not like that, but it kind of reminds me of that, right, yeah. so, I mean, it's, it's a two. I mean, it's, I'm glad we, we cracked it though. You need yeah, bottle, sure. Spain, yeah, unique bottle. You know, it's, it's yeah. from Madrid, so you from know, Madrid. Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> Angry principal, man. What you say, that? So I'm gonna go two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Um, because it's so complex, mm-hmm. it's keeping us guessing the whole mm-hmm. time. We've been trying to figure what the stuff up. So and that's kind of dope. The, that's the fun of it. That's mm-hmm. dope. It's 80 proof, so it's not as strong. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, of course, I want something a little stronger. Uh, so I'm gonna give it two and a quarter. Uh, it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's actually a fun one to drink yeah. because you're guessing the entire mm-hmm. time. So I'm gonna give it two and a quarter. And what's weird about it? It damn near feel like it's gonna taste different every time. Like, and, and even now, it's it's even a, a little more peppery on the uh, on the finish with the cigar. And I don't know if that's maybe the the brand of cigar I'm smoking or what. But uh, it is complex though. Again, you start off with the fruit smell uh, on the nose and. It's kind of deceptive because it, 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 it does have a scotch bite to it, so it doesn't really taste fruity until at the end. And you're right, I think I do agree with both of you guys about the melon taste at the end being even more enhanced uh, with the smoke. So yeah, something definitely uh, unique. Uh, something that I think, obviously, I, I, it won't be an everyday sip because I'm not going to Madrid, but <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely keep it on deck. You know what I'm curious, though, um, which uh, I think I'll try probably off camera, just a couple of cubes of ice, and I think that might uh, switch it up a little bit. I think that might actually make it sweeter, which, you know, for me, I, I like that. <laughs> so I can deal with that. Duh. So for me, I'm, I'm still going to give it, I'm going to give it a two uh, on the strength of, I like it to be a little bit stronger. And with the uh, with the nose, I kind of anticipated a little more fruit sweetness to it, so I was a, a little bit uh, perturbed <laughs> by that. <laughs> but it's still a, it's still a good finish. Is is relatable to Scotch though, and of course I'm not the biggest Scotch fan, so it would have to be something like spectacular to kind of win me over uh, as it being uh, similar to Scotch. I don't know if this is like authentic or has been kind of. I guess fucked up for lack of better terms since uh, Jim Beam has purchased it. Like I don't know if something has changed. In I can see them marketing this to like women or yeah. whatnot, right? You know, I can see that. Yeah, they might want some that. good DYC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, I saw dog. it coming. Come on, I dog. saw it. I saw it coming down the road. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might. This, this is good. They might want some, might good, want some good DYC. You know, get them a good glass of DYC. Get out of here now. <laughs> right? Oh, shit, <laughs> dog. <laughs> so, again, dog. I think it's a. It's a, it's I'm, a trying promote, I'm trying to promote them to get them, you know, hey. Get, to get the DYC. <laughs> yeah, get the DYC. <laughs> No, this is a, this is definitely a pleasant surprise, though. Definitely a little bit different than what I thought it might be. Uh, even at eighty proof, I think that it's it's, a, it's got a decent bite to it. So um, it could be marketed it to, be, to women. Yeah. I, I can see that. I, I was serious. <laughs> I know you were. It was, it was still just funny, though. 
but of course everybody's uh palette is different though so we do encourage you if you get your hands on one <laughs> <laughs> man god damn get your hands on some dyc <laughs> all right bro we out of here dog <laughs> We got two twos at a 2.25 uh, on the rating system. Oh. Check it out for yourself, man. Drop in the comments. Let us know <laughs> what you think about it. We out here, dog. I'm a man angry principal holding it down. I can you say it. Just go ahead. My man Bo in the building. I say. <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Oh, Peace out, y'all. <laughs> y'all niggas out of here. <laughs>